Today we are reacting to the Puck Rock NBA's Big Four of Metalcore. And by Big Four, of course, I'm referring to the bands that they called the Big Four of Thrash Metal back in the day. Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax. I was never a fan of Megadeth, I'm sorry. And Anthrax would probably have only heard like one song. I always felt like Pantera should have replaced Anthrax. <laughs> Then of course, a fusion music genre that combines elements of extreme metal and hardcore punk, as with other styles blending metal and hardcore, such as crust punk. What the fuck is crust punk? Metalcore is noted for its use of breakdowns, slow, intense passages conducive to moshing. Who is the Metallica of metalcore? I'm gonna say no. Probably Avenged Sevenfold. The first name that comes to mind is Bring Me the Horizon. I would have never considered Bring Me the Horizon, but I also never listened to Bring Me Horizon. Maybe I don't know what Metalcore is. Another band where I think you could make the case for being the Metallica of Metalcore is Avenged Sevenfold. They kind of made it cool to play shreddy guitar again. I can't really call them the Metallica of Metalcore. It's because they're not really a Metalcore band. You know, I have to agree with that. I was just about to say, Sounding Seventh Trumpet was definitely a Metalcore album. And I would say Waking the Fallen. I'm surprised he didn't mention Waking the Fallen. I can see why he would say they're not the Metallica of Metalcore. But we can also say Metallica changed their sound too. Load and Reload, which are, I think, very underappreciated albums. So they changed their genre too. I mean, Metallica did not stay full on metal. They did have different genres too. When someone asks, who is the Metallica of Metalcore? I think there's one and only one band that deserves this spot, and that is Killswitch Engage. What? But that brings us to the next question, a much trickier one to answer. Who is the Megadeth of Metalcore? I don't know. I, don't, I can't even think of anybody that would be the Megadeth of Metalcore. Do you guys have one? I don't know. The first one that comes to mind to me is Bullet For My Valentine, a very <laughs> solid band that I think is a little bit more successful than a lot of people may realize. But still, I would disqualify them from being the Megadeth of Metalcore. Genres are a mother... <laughs> <laughs> Another name that came up a lot when I asked about this on Twitter was August Burns Red. And there's also Lamb of God, who are a metalcore band in the sense that they're guys from the punk scene that play metal. Back in 98, I think, when they were still called yeah, Burn, the, Burn Priest, the Priest, they put out a split seven inch with an awesome grind. What about New American Gospel? Or just like screeching yell? <laughs> or just like yelling the entire time. And I would also say the same of Trivium, a band that was definitely branded as being a gay scene metalcore band when they came out, but I think have successfully- I, I remember when Trivium came out, everybody was going around saying that they were the next Metallica. And I think that like made people not want to watch them or listen to them even more. And at the time, Metallica, it was like considered not cool to like Metallica anymore even though like every single guitar player learned like a majority of riffs. If I had to choose one band as the Megadeth of Metalcore, that band would be As I Lay Dying. As I Lay Dying, Dying was everywhere. I wanna just pause for a minute and mention a few groups of bands that I'm sure people are gonna bring up in the comments and explain why I didn't include them. First of all is all those OG metalcore bands of the 90s that I mentioned before. For example, like Integrity, Earth Crisis, Overcast, 18 Visions, Poison the Well, all that stuff. I love all- Dude, that is so awesome they mentioned 18 Visions and Poison the Well. I wonder if he was gonna mention those. I remember my favorite song by Poison the Well, Slice Paper Wrist. This I asked. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Getting to realize that I might not know what metalcore is. And I kind of wouldn't really call them metalcore, really. I mean, that wasn't a term back then. Nobody said metalcore. Those are just a bunch of hardcore kids that listened to a lot of prong and slayer and tried to copy the riffs. Yeah, that's what it is. We never called it metalcore. That's probably what it was. It, it, he's right. That wasn't until later on when people would say uh, metalcore. And I'm surprised we haven't heard all that remains mentioned. Yet. That brings us to a very important question. Who is the Slayer of Metalcore? I would say that Slayer is a band that I hear more directly ripped off. Like literally anybody in any- That is so true. I think I've heard here in El Paso, Texas, Slayer and Pantera probably ripped off the most. Under Oath is one name that comes to mind. They were certainly massively influential, but I would kind of consider them more post-hardcore than metalcore. And another one is the Devil Wars products. They're a little bit more on the emo side of things, I guess you would say. 
Well, a lot of these bands are considered on the side of emo. I thought Bullet from a Valentine was kind of on the emo side, but I guess I was wrong. That stuff like just drives me nuts, like just thinking about all those genres. I just say it's metal. This is metal. Here you go. Different versions of metal. I feel like nowadays, though, people just say, we're a mixture of so many different genres. And that's what everybody just says now. They don't even say what genre they are. They just say, it's hard to explain. <laughs> and so my answer to this question of who is the slayer of metalcore, I'm going to go with a potentially controversial pick here. And I'm going to go with Architects. It's funny, I only heard about Architects about four years ago, actually. I never even knew they had been around for that long or that big. I never really got into them. There was a couple songs that I liked a lot, and then there was some that I wasn't a fan of. So interesting they chose Architects. You might think of them as a newer band because it's really kind of only in the last five or six years that they've blown up, but they've actually been around since 2004. So they're almost 20 years old. I've talked a ton of shit about all the bands that rip off Architects because, well, there are a lot of bands that do it. Yeah, that riff is badass, I'm not gonna lie. And that is definitely a copy. Basically, it sounds like half of them heard the Doomsday riff and were like, <laughs> oh, hey, let's just do that from now on. So the way that I think about it is kind of like, I don't know if it's that, it's like, cause that's in, like that was in for a while. So like, there's only so many da -da 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 -da, like bouncy riffs you can come up with. And I feel like we're tapping out of all of them without going super progressive i just kind of feel like there's this certain sense of like raw emotion and angst i guess like in sincerity in his vocals that i feel like is just kind of missing from all the people who try to copy it so aka he's pouring his feelings out into the song you can think of kurt cobain from nirvana as a good example of somebody that just like those screams was like pain and agony when he would let them rip who is the anthrax of metalcore? As far as their metalcore equivalent, well, I see a few candidates. The first one that comes to mind is All That Remains. So I think they're sort of a, like the halfway point between Kill Switch and As I Lay Dying. So I think they're an excellent band, but I'm going to disqualify them here because they just kind of never really broke out of that level in the way that As I Lay Dying or Kill Switch did. Another potential candidate here is A Day to Remember, but then kind of going a little bit more in the radio rock direction on their follow up albums. My friends are DJ. See, that sounds like that emo sound. Uh, rest in peace, Holly. The band that I think of as the anthrax of metalcore is Parkway Drive. Parkway Drive. Never really listened to them. What did you guys think? Do you guys consider these the big four of metalcore? If not, what are your big four for metalcore music? Stay awesome, everyone.